Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these festive flower beaded earrings. They're easy to make and I'm showing you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. I'm using really simple stuff, only 8O beads and you could use 11 O's or 10 O's, whatever you have in your stash. Uh, as long as you follow this pattern, everything will be okay and any type of ear wires you like. If you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas and you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are three colors of 8O beads and you could use 11 -0 or 10 -0 seed beads as long as they're one and the same size, there is no problem. And I have tutorials for bracelets and earrings with similar design and 11 -0s. Okay, here I use ear wires, I'm using lever bags, but you could use any type of ear wires you like. And here I use jump rings and this is fire line and this fire line is 0 0.17 millimeters. I think you could use uh, 0 0.20, but with bigger needle. And here I use size 10 beading needle and scissors. And of course you could use pliers. Uh, maybe you need to use pliers. Uh, to attach uh, your jump rings at the end, okay? Uh, if you don't have some of the materials, don't worry. I have links down there in description where you could buy them from. And now I'm going to put about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and I'm back and I'm going to start my design by picking up 12 of these beautiful black beads. Okay, guys, and here... I have my 12 beads and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of this thread. I will stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot. And I'm making my knot by going twice with my tail thread through the loop I've made. And I pull. And then I will make one more knot just to be sure that it's all secure and tight and now guys what I do is that I go through six beads in this direction first I went through four beads as you may see and then I'm going through two more beads okay then I take one black bead and I will go through six beads in this direction First, I'm going through four and then through two beads. Pull this knot. Okay. When you work with fire line, it's, um, it doesn't need to wax ink. It's light, really cool. But sometimes it might be a problem for the knots. Okay. Okay guys, now I'm exiting here out of this bead and my goal is to reach the other bead that's sticking out. And here I need to take three beads, a black, a golden and a black. And I'm going back in circle through this black bead. Okay, I have a cross of four beads here. I added three beads because one of my four beads is already there. Okay, then I'm going through the following black bead like that. And here I need to do another cross of four, but I will use these two beads as two of my fours. Okay. And that's why I'm going to add only two beads in this golden color. And when I go through these two black beads, I still have four, one, two, three, four beads. And when I pull, I have another cross of four. 
Okay, then I go through the following black bead. And I want another right angle V for across the four. And I will take a black and a golden this time. And I'm going through this golden and this black one. And pull. Then I go through the following black. And this time I will add two goldens. And all the way, guys, I'm going to alternate two goldens and a black and a golden. Okay, like that. Go through the following black. Now it's time for a black and a golden. Making a cross of four by adding two and going through two beads. Okay. Following seed bead, take two goldens, go through these two blacks, and if you can, in one movement, also through the wing black. Okay, and here it's time for a black and a golden. Okay, now what I do is that I exit here at this angle and I want at this angle to have the same thing that I have at this angle. Here I have three black beads and one golden. Here I have two black beads, so what I need to add is one black and one golden. And I will go back through these two blacks. And you see still across a four. Okay, if you don't like that thread showing, just use monofilament instead of fireline. Okay. Now I'm going through the following seed bead. Here it's time to add two golden beads like that, and going through these two black beads. Okay. Then I will go through the following black and again a black and a golden after the two golden added. I need a black and a golden and if you can go through the following black, two goldens, go back through these two black beads and also go through the following to save time. In here, a black and a golden, and go back through these beads and through the following, and two goldens go through these two black beads. Okay, then through the following, as always. And here I need a black and a golden, but you see, this black is already there. So I will just go through it. And here in this step, what I need is just one golden. And I will go back in circle. So here I have already added three of my four beads, okay? I already had this one, this one, and this one, and I just added only one bead. The last step is different from the other steps. And now I want to go through these two black beads. And here, through the golden. Now I need a red one. And a black one. A red one and a black one. A red one. And here only at the angle I will add two blacks. 
The black is my splitter color and where the reds are I want to form flowers. Ok, and I will continue this until the end of this row. And here at the end again I'm adding two blacks instead of alternating black and red. Ok? And now guys I have this. I have one more row to go to finish my work. Ok? And I'm going through this red bead and taking three golden beads and going back in circle through this red one. This is again right angle weave. Then I'm going through two beads. My goal is to exit out of a black one, okay? And here I need just one black. And I'm going back through this black one in circle, okay? I have this, like in ladder stitch. Then I'm going here through these two beads and my goal is to exit out of a red one. And here I add three goldens and go back to this one. And if you can, in one movement, go through the golden and exit out of the next black one. Okay, a black. Go through the two after that, exiting out of the red. Three goldens. And exit out of the black, one black and go like this. Then here because it is the angle I'm going through the golden and I'm adding three goldens. Okay, now I have this. Then through the following black and I'm adding one black and going through the following two beads and through the red one. Then I need three goldos and exit out of the black and I will continue this until the end of this row. Ok, and here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row and I would like to do an additional step that's not obligatory but it is to reinforce my work to make it stay tighter. I'm saying again it's not obligatory but what I like to do is go here around the edges of my flowers like this and then here through this black one not the last one but the previous one okay and I will reinforce my work and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and after I reinforced my work it's time to make some knots and cut my thread and here I make a loop I go twice through this loop I meet I pull and then I go through the following bead like this and I could repeat this step several more times and when I'm ready I'm going to cut my thread, okay? And now guys my earring is ready. I just need to attach my ear wire, okay? So, in order to do this, I'm taking this jump ring, I'm opening this up with my pliers 
and I'm going to pull it, push it here inside my bead. Then I'm going to take my ear wire, my lever back ear wire, and I'm going to squeeze it. Squeeze it back tight. Okay. And now, guys, my earring is ready. Okay, guys, and now my festive beaded earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will see a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, links to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.